Well, I, I have my own issues with government, but I think my problem with the Iraq war is that uh, Republicans failed to say what I said and defend it. Even Jeb Bush has not defended it properly. He was asked when he first started running, what do you think about the Iraq war? Well, I, 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 well Jeb, I, I, I mean, honestly, if you can't even defend what your brother did, how can other people do it? Yeah, so I think Americans have forgotten why we went there. At one time, 73% of the American people supported this war. Uh, you have to remind people of why, you, why you've gone to war. It might be what the reasons are. We're in a more precarious place now. And I don't think any part of the world is better off with Obama in it. Uh, and I think that you look at polls now, uh, George W. Bush left office uh, in, the, in the low 30s. I, I don't think any president has been that unpopular in my life. Mm-hmm. I, I, will, I will support whoever the nominee is. So <laughs> Hillary Clinton is hand, so, yeah. Do you view Hillary and Bernie both sort of as equally, uh, yeah, equally, equally as yeah, equally, equally bad? I mean, I mean, when you when you ask Hillary to give the difference, as Chris Matthews recently did, between the Democrat and the Socialist, she couldn't do it. Debbie Washington Shaw, the chairwoman of the DNC, was asked the same question. She couldn't do it. Uh, and Hillary has gone further to the left because she's threatened by Bernie Sanders. She's now come out by talking about a surcharge tax on, on, on millionaires. She didn't do that before. And she's also come out on the left now on guns. She didn't want to do that before. So Bernie's pushed her to the left. So as far as I'm concerned, it seems to be built on getting we, the people, to actually never talk about the big issues in an honest way. We have debates with catered questions and no actual debating. We have town halls with just forums for talking points and social media campaigns to spread candidates' messages without ever explaining how their ideas will actually solve anything. You know, there's a strange collusion between the media and politicians. To keep and, and that's what Trump does so well. And so what you see on, on the right is, yeah, but you're not a conservative. That's, that's an argument about policy. It's not an argument about character. Right. So for a guy that obviously doesn't like Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton, do you at least envy the fact that in their debates, it seems to me, that it's much more substantial. There's at least, you know, they're really saying, I'm the progressive, I'm the progressive. Now, you may hate all progressive ideas, but at least there's a, you know, you're, you you got the D plus from the NRA and I got a C or whatever. Well, it's, so, I think a little more of that. So, they stay away from the character.